Hello, everyone. Well, today marks the last day of what has been a good week. If you're following Georgia Department of Health's daily COVID-19 status reports, you already know that we're on an encouraging trajectory in our state. Uh, the number of uh, COVID-19 cases are in decline, and the number of COVID-19-related deaths are also in decline. So as our state slowly reopens for business, we are continuing to closely monitor conditions in our state and in our area. And if these trends continue, we'll be sharing with you plans to resume on-campus worship very, very soon. Uh, we have a team or a task force seems to be in vogue right now. We have a task force uh, in place planning to safely regather our church family for worship. I want to encourage you, please be on the lookout for pastor's posts, for newsletters, updates to our websites, uh, to stay current on our latest plans. Uh, it will be very important for you to be well informed before coming back onto our church campus. Also, please continue to pray that these encouraging trends would continue and that God would give all of our leaders wisdom as they make decisions that affect us all. I want to share a couple of uh, ministry highlights with you and say a brief word about our summer events. First, last Sunday, our adult connection groups set an all-time attendance record, which is truly remarkable because we weren't trying to set a record. We didn't promote a high attendance day or have special guests or speakers, and yet we saw more adults participate in Sunday morning connection groups than ever before. Now, let me tell you what that says to me. First, it says much about all those who serve as volunteer leaders in our adult education ministry. Church, you know this. We are blessed here with extraordinary teachers and group leaders. God has assembled here a truly remarkable team of Bible teachers. But second, it demonstrates the love you have for one another. We say this often, and it's far more than just a cliche. Church is not an event you go to. It's a family you belong to. And never has that been more evident for the Redeemer family than in these days. Last Sunday's connection group attendance also means that when this is all over, Zoom is likely to find a permanent place in our long-term education strategy. It's amazing how God oftentimes uses tough times to take us forward in new directions. Second, let me say a word about There's Hope for the Hungry. I haven't updated you on that ministry in a while. As you can imagine, that ministry is meeting a huge need right now. In fact, a local news outlet did a great story uh, about their work in Rome, Georgia uh, this week. Uh, you can find that on social media. You can know this, There's Hope for the Hungry is serving North Georgia well, in large part, because of your support and your participation in that wonderful ministry. I thank God for every single one of our directors, every single one of our amazing volunteers, and every single one of our great donors. Uh, thank you for being moved with compassion. Thank you for loving people enough to meet their physical needs, yes, but also, and more importantly, their spiritual needs. Next, let me say a word about our summer events. As I mentioned in Wednesday's pastor's post, our church staff is working hard to reshuffle our ministry schedule for May and June. Uh, there are too many ministries to mention here. Uh, let me encourage you again, please follow our website and our written pastor's post to stay updated on church events, especially in the coming weeks. One thing that I will mention, on May the 17th, which is just a couple of weeks away, we'll be recognizing our graduating seniors during our online worship services. Parents, if you'd like for your graduating senior to be included in that, please be sure to register by May the 4th, that's this coming Monday, on our student ministry website at firstredeemer.org students. Finally, 
I'm praying that we are able to safely regather our church family very, very soon. That day will likely stand as one of the most anticipated, most joyful Sundays in my life. I simply can't wait for it. In the meantime, as always, stay healthy, stay safe, and I hope to see you online this Sunday.